Hello everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be opening my first ever PCGS, uh, I don't know, submission. So, uh, I sent these off about 30 days ago. I was super excited about the results. I already took a look at these. I, I am nobody for surprises. I just love uh, finding stuff out early and I found out what these were ahead of time. But I wanted to show you guys anyway because they're beautiful coins. So let's just open this right now and take a look. Move this aside. Open this up. <clears throat> so this is going to be the first coin. This is uh, 18, or I'm sorry, 1951 Franklin Half Dollar. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. As you can see, just the amazing color on this coin. Uh, it's got terminal left, blue on the bell. I called this coin blue bell, by the way. And it's got this orange and uh, red and green fields up towards the right. It uh, is just such a beautiful coin on uh, the reverse. Beautiful bell. Really, really uh, struck well bell. Um, I don't see any real big issues with it. And if we flip this baby over, we are able to check out uh, just the amazing obverse as well. So, uh, the main issues that I saw on this coin was the hit right here by the hairline. And I also saw just the wear on the hair. You can see it right here. Uh, there's a lot of wear on this one. Uh, just up towards the hairline. So, when people see MS coins or coins that they think there are MS, um, there's the luster wear on, hit on the high points and also... Uh, the hits in the fields. So, uh, let me show you what the grade of this coin is really quickly. Okay, so, this 1951 Franklin Half Dollar graded MS63 full bell lines. So, like I said, the full bell lines uh, were pretty good. Um, good plus to the coin. And the color itself. I actually found this one on eBay for like 30 bucks, And I already found an owner for it before it actually hit my uh, door. So, just a beautiful coin, and uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, here is the next one. I accidentally pulled the sticker off, but you will love it. So this is another coin. Uh, it has some blues as well. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got this double crescent to it down the sides. It's got the purple, blue, green, yellow, red, and more green at the top. So just a beautiful spectrum. This Morgan dollar is reverse mounted. What do you guys think the grade would be? Let's just flip this over and clear off the coin. Um, you could see uh, many contact marks. The luster is good, really good. But you could see many contact marks wear on the high points as well. Um, and this coin, I think, hit my grade uh, head on what I thought it would be. Let me just flip it over. Just amazing color on the reverse so I thought it was worth submitting now let's back this up and show you the grade okay so 1888 Morgan silver dollar graded MS 63 um, just to where I thought it would be so if we take a look back at the reverse you can see this giant hit on the high point uh, there's also some wear on the high point on the feathers you can see like that glossiness to it um, and just the hits alone kind of held it back from a 64 or higher uh, luster is great, color is great, just the wear on the high points on both sides of the coin and the hits. So it's a great coin either way. Uh, the new owner uh, will love it. So let's move on to the next coin. So this is the Mac Daddy of the subs. Uh, this is a Kennedy half dollar. You can see the color just beaming off this coin. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit more. So I had this, I found this raw on eBay. Everyone said it was cleaned. Everyone said it was artificial. Um, you could see these blue and green right here going all the way up the neck. That, and all the way on the hairline. You could see pink and just, I don't know, it's just such a beautiful coin. I don't see that color that often. So when you see this coin, it is automatically going to be a risk to anybody. And you might say, oh, this is cleaning right here. This is cleaning on the face. No, this is actually end of roll toning. Um, it happens quite frequently with Kennedys that are at the end of the roll. 
um, and I didn't see any brush marks, any issues with it when I saw it in hand. So I ended up submitting this coin. It got an amazing true view, and I will actually be posting all the true views in the description for you guys so you can go check those out. But let's show you the grade. We're just hoping for a straight grade, right? We're just hoping that it's not cleaned, um, there's no damage to it, and the toning is genuine. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> that's a weird sound. But, AU55, um, I would have loved the AU58, but, I mean, the color is just so beautiful, right? And I don't even show you the reverse, because the reverse is kind of crap. But, the obverse is nice. Let's flip it over to the reverse. So... When we go down a little bit, you can actually see, so what I thought it was going to be AU58 all day long, we can see the luster just leaving the coin. There's not, there's not going to be any type of cartwheel to it. You can see the lovely rainbow near the half, but like I said, it's kind of gray. It's not going to have that whitish, uh, nice luster feel to it. So that automatically, for me, bumped it down to AU. Now, it also bumped it down to an AU, is just you can see this when you're moving down the coin. There's that big nick on the high point, uh, wear on the high point, wear on the hair right here. It's just, I think it's a beat coin. But when you look at the the color, I mean, come on, the color, let me just look at the color. You just, oh, oh. So, I actually wanted to keep this coin. I love this coin so, so much. It's such a beautiful example. You just so hard to find color like this with the EOR toning. Doesn't matter really what grade it is. Um, for the most part, if, if it was an AU58, I would have tried to make it AU58 plus by resubmitting it because that's a very, very, very expensive coin. But I am very, ex very ecstatic with this submission uh, so far. I just love this coin. Probably my top two favorite coins I've ever submitted or even, well, not even submitted, but seen in hand. Um, so let's just move on to the last coin of the submission. Now this coin, okay. This coin uh, is 1923 a piece dollar. It's got the goldish brownish uh, on the face and uh, going in front of the face as well. Um, it's just it's got nice luster. It's got nice toning to it. It's got like this greenish yellow, gold, and then brown to it so I I really do enjoy this coin I actually picked this one up on Instagram for $23 so bought this coin for 23 bucks I thought it was genuine and I submitted it we're gonna flip it over to the reverse and it's got some subtle toning to top left kind of like a part of a crescent on it um, there is some hits on the eagle um, I didn't see any brush marks any problems with the coin before submitting it. I normally submit things that have nice color but also have a straight grade in my opinion. So if we look on the face I don't see anything but a few hit marks. Um, you know uh, these these marks right here on the on the coin you'll see once I take my finger away. Um, those are toning lines so there's no brush marks there. I didn't see any brush marks. I just think uh, those are toning lines. There's no scratches. There's no removal to the first layer. Like if I move this up and down, right, you're going to see taking away the layer. You're going to see a bright and then dull because they had to cut in at a certain point if it was cleaned. But if you go like this, there's no bright and dull layer. It's just flat. That would uh, automatically you would see that it's not clean because, I mean, you know, basically move it back and forth that's just a part of the toning you know if I moved it up and down and it was bright right here and it was dull right there then that would mean that it would be cut in at some point on the coin um, so let's just get to the grade part of this coin oh nice so I saw this grade already um, and I was upset by it um, I was talked to by a few buddies they said yeah if you submit it to PCGS they're gonna AT any oh uh, details of any coin they think and uh, has any color on a piece dollar so they're really stringent on piece dollars but I really wanted the true view and I'm gonna resubmit this coin to PCGS I just can't find the cleaning on it like 
there's some people that post videos and say, I can't find the cleaning on this coin, and I, I, I just see it in the video, right? But this coin, I mean, all that's toning lines. There's hits on the face, which it would make it like a 63 or 62. Uh, the color is nice. I'm not sure if it if it's clean because someone dipped it too much and removed some type of layer to it. I'm not sure, but I don't have a ton of money into this coin. Uh, I just don't see, you know, I don't see where it would be cleaned. So, um, let me know what you guys think of this coin down in uh, the comment section. Make sure to like this video today. Uh, I'm going to show my other coin one more time before, you, before I send it away. Uh, but make sure to like this video. Uh, comment what your favorite coin of the video was. Um... I don't know what type of coin do you guys enjoy the most of this video. I loved all of them, and I think they all are just great coins for great collectors. Um, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys enjoyed my first ever PCGS uh, submission video, and this is only the first one of many. So I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Drew with Acoustic Collectibles, and uh, peace out.